Now, getting into dating archives themselves. Tree rings are a very common paleoclimate archive, particularly spanning the last few centuries. In order to date tree rings, the individual rings must first be counted and measured. Then each tree within a cohort must be statistically cross-dated against each other to build a chronology floating in time. Now, in order to attach this floating tree ring chronology to calendar years, radiocarbon dating of individual tree rings must be undertaken. And this is just one example of a high resolution tree ring dating article. In this study, which you can see on the left, seven subfossil pine trees from southern France were used in a climate reconstruction. The dates of the trees were analyzed using high resolution radiocarbon dating, where numerous rings per tree were analyzed to find the best fit at annual resolution. In the plot, you can see a radiocarbon calibration record in black, which was developed from New Zealand. And two trees, barb 17 and barb 12, were analyzed to place the tree ring record on this calendar time. You can see that by analyzing the rings at high resolution, a very strong fit between the tree growth 14C age and this New Zealand cowrie calibration can be made. As a result, even though the tree ring record was relatively short in a geological sense, a robust age was able to be developed.